Hi Leo, you guys are like the eighth reading that I'm doing in this style. I'm asking three questions. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are, you know, an opportunity coming in for you? It's only now I'm really realizing the gift that spirit is also adding to this. Because as fast as they're telling me like what your strengths are, they're also telling me the things that could hurt you. So as fast as they're telling me your weaknesses, they're also giving me an advice for that. So I love it, I love it, I love it. That's all I can say is thank you to my egun, my bukulu. And thank you to my spirits and, you know, whatever team I have working with me. Anyway, what are your strengths? Your strengths are that passionate nature. You guys are literally like a spark. You're like a living flame. You, you're passionate. You embody spirit and source in such a beautiful way is that you move forward and you get things done. Turn out this for you. You get things done. Okay, your strengths would be and how you talk to people, how you communicate, the things you say to people to get them to do what it is you need to do and just your way of articulating, for lack of a better word, that makes everything run better, run perfectly. What you have to work out for is you have to work out. What you have to look out for is don't deceive yourself a sense of like self-deception false ego too much ego um don't let your words betray you don't be a liar if you say it do it stand by it don't lose the drive or the impulse to get this thing that you com you committed to verbally or in writing or whatever don't lose that desire to see it through and get it done so these are your strengths and this is just like the little message or warning that comes along with it to help you play up to your strengths even better. Your weaknesses, your weaknesses could be emotions, princess of cups. Again, that's more stuff you commit to, but don't fall through on it because this is not a king. This is not the ace. This is not, this is just, you know, kind of like infatuations in any sense. That's one thing. The other thing is laziness can also be a weakness for you. So a remedy or a solution for that would be to keep moving forward movement. You know what I mean? Ironically, the chariot can also be a cancer card, more emotions. So it's kind of like, as far as your weaknesses, infatuations and whatnot, don't be stagnant don't get caught up in your feelings. Don't get caught up in the movement. Just keep moving. As far as opportunities coming in for you, as far as opportunities coming in for you, there is something that you're going to be moving towards. It's going to be something different. It's going to be something completely brand new. It's going to be an end to, for some of you, it's actually going to be an end of always having to like travel, always have to be on the go. It could be something a whole lot more stable. At the same time, it could also be an end to like if you're a little bit overzealous and stuff like that, whatever this opportunity is, it's something that's going to help you mature even more, if that makes sense. But it sounds like something wonderful coming in for you. Eight of Wands talks about going the distance. So... Whatever that is, I would pretty much look out on the horizon for it. And what if I should try to pull a timing card because I only have one hand. King of Swords. So in terms of timing, whatever this opportunity is, could be months coming in for you. So that might not be this year. What are we in September, October, whatever it is could be this year. It said months. So let's wait and see. Anyway, that's all I have for you, Leo. I don't know if any of this helps. I would think about like what my weaknesses are and you know how I can iron them out a little bit. Something of that nature moving forward. Okay, I'm going to end it here. Bye guys.